Hi, I'm Lisa Alzo. The first one is that it's too difficult. Everybody thinks it's impossible to find your Eastern European ancestors, and that used to be partly true because there were changing borders, the names are difficult to spell and pronounce, and so when we're typing our names into online databases, they don't always come up uh, as we think they should be spelled. So those are a couple of the most common myths, and that it's impossible to find any records, that they were destroyed in the war, or they're, they're hard to find, or that they don't, they don't exist, and, and that is a myth. There are tons of resources available, and thankfully, more and more are becoming available online. So uh, you can start with Ancestry, you can uh, look at uh, the databases, and of course, the partnership with Family Search really helps to bring a lot of the church books and a lot of the records online. And so that's a, that's a really good way to do it. A lot of the archives are starting to do their own databases. So the Czech archives, for example, there are seven archives, and they're all doing some of their own databases that you can search. Polish State Archives as well is a great resource. Translations can be tricky. Uh, Google Translate can help on, on basic words and phrases. Uh, there are also some great letter writing guides and word lists available through Family Search. But also, I, I tend to think the best thing to do is to uh, find a professional, find a genealogist uh, in, based in that country or somebody over here that's, that's maybe affiliated with a church or a university that has an Eastern European language department that you can find somebody you, know, you can network with. You can also try resources like APG to see if they can recommend people uh, or also Facebook. There are a lot of, a lot of groups for Eastern European research and a lot of globally uh, available members that will, that will be happy to help you translate small documents and information a lot of times for free. Uh, immersion genealogy is something I came up with when I walked in my ancestors' footsteps uh, in Slovakia. I've gone there twice, and I've gone to all four of my ancestral villages, and it's just walking where they walked, looking in the churches, seeing where they were baptized, going to the cemeteries, experiencing uh, life as they would have experienced it. And so I started ImmersionGenealogy.com as a way to give people resources. So I'll be including tips, uh, how to plan a trip, what to, to do when you get there, uh, how to research in the archives, how to hire a guide, how to hire a translator, uh, you know, what, what sort of experiences uh, you can look forward to, experience things like the ethnic food or the, the, the ethnic dress or the costumes or the celebrations. And so that's basically what it, it's about is to research your ancestors by being where they were and really getting to fully experience uh, what life might have been like for them rather than just looking up the names, dates, and places. I'm actually working on a book uh, for researching in Eastern Europe, and it will be out uh, in 2016. It doesn't have an official title yet, uh, but I'll have more information on that uh, on my website, lisaalzo.com. And so as soon as that becomes available, you can find that there. But it's, it's going to be a how-to guide, how, really geared towards beginners, how to get started dispelling those myths for Eastern Europe and, and, and trying to get people interested in researching their ancestry.